we focus on different things depending on the age of the patient. My very young patients, you know, my young teenagers up through their kind of early 20s, we talk about safe practices. If they are sexually active or are intimate with various partners, we talk about consent, how to communicate consent. We talk about screening for infections and how we can help to keep them as healthy and avoiding complications if, if at all possible. We talk through their family history to determine if they have a higher risk for developing things like breast cancer or ovarian cancer later in life. I do a lot of education explaining what their anatomy actually looks like, what different parts of their anatomy function for. I explain a breast exam. I teach them how to do an exam on themselves so that they can be aware of their bodies and what may be abnormal for them so that if they find something, they can find a medical professional and say, this is what I found. Can you help me go further? For my patients kind of in their middle years, it's a lot of health maintenance. So regular check-ins, screening for cervical disease, screening for breast cancer, um, talking about infertility, talking about their uh, future plans for childbearing. For my patients who are older and menopausal or heading into that menopausal change, there's a lot of changes that happen hormonally, physically, emotionally at that stage in life. Talking about to patients about what they can expect as they move through those changes, what they can expect in regards to their reproductive health, what they can expect in, in reference to how their periods happen, um, vaginal changes, whether it's a dryness or discomfort with intimacy, these different things. And screening guidelines for breast cancer, cervical cancer, ovarian cancer, all of those change with age. And so we really tailor up a pelvic health visit to the age of the patient and then based off the patient's concerns and what they want to address at that particular juncture.